Ever since I started this channel, I've built nothing but car kits. So far, I've built a total of 22 of them. But last weekend, I decided to switch gear and try something new. I've watched Gundam anime series as well as Gundam builders on YouTube, but I've never built a gunpla kit before. And since many of you guys are into Gundams, I thought I'd give it a try. As my first gunpla kit, I wanted to start with something simple. I didn't have to do a lot of research to find out these kits are sorted by grades, and the high grade kit seems to be very beginner friendly, so it makes sense for a complete noob such as myself to start with that. Removing parts from the sprue is fairly easy, and the parts snap together without using any types of glue. I'm really amazed by the design of the snap fit system, but the most satisfying part is that I know I can put this kit together without having to worry about painting. Of course, if you are an advanced builder, you could paint it or customize it to your own taste, but if you are a beginner, then all you need to complete a kit like this are some basic hand tools. I have seen gunpla builders use flat clear on their finished build, so I did the same thing. Although this step is obviously optional, it will reduce the shine and make it look less plasticky. And a couple rounds of panel line washes later, my first gunpla kit was officially finished. I don't know much about building Gunplus, but it only took me 3 hours to complete this project and it was a truly enjoyable experience. In fact, I liked it so much I built another one, still a straight out of the box build, but this time I added some battle damage and some basic weathering. It came out looking pretty nice. All of a sudden, I see why this Gunplus is so popular and why the Gunpla community is growing so fast. These kits are a lot of fun to build. It's easy to get started, and making the painting part optional has massively encouraged beginners to get into the hobby. Even if you have no modeling experience, with minimum effort is guaranteed to see a finished kit. So if you want to get into the world of Gunpla building, then the choice is obvious. Just go to your local hobby store and pick up a kit from Bandai and a pair of side cutters and just let the fun begin. But what about model car kits for beginners? I often see questions like what is the best kit for beginners? or what is a good starter kit for people without any experience. I don't have all the tools and paint, can I just build this out of the box, will it still look as good? Those are the questions I've been asked many times, and I was thinking of these questions the whole time while building my first Gunpla, but I still couldn't come up with a good answer. Why is it so hard to recommend a kit to beginners? Let me try to explain. Car models are usually molded in simple plastic colors that don't really resemble the finish of a car. It doesn't matter which brand you have. Tamiya, Fujimi, Ayoshima, Hasegawa, or Revell. 
they all look pretty much the same before painting. When you open a box, you will get a pile of unpainted plastic parts. It's not as exciting as opening a Gundam kit. Some brands might have higher accuracy in their production or better fitments than others, but all you'll get are some unpainted, untreated plastic parts. And for that reason, this kit will require a good amount of work if you want to achieve a semi-decent result in the end. For example, the body alone has to go through different stages like test fitting, panel line scribing, removing mold lines, sanding, priming, more sanding, and priming again. Painting the base color, usually multiple coats, followed by clear coating, usually multiple coats. Then once the paint is dried and cured, it has to be wet sanded and polished to achieve that glossy and smooth finish that you usually see on a real car. And you better be praying that nothing goes wrong in this stage like sanding through paint, or you have to repaint and re-clear it. These steps take time, a lot of time. Sometimes hours, days, even weeks. To be honest, working on a model car feels more like an occupation than a hobby. In fact, the steps of painting a model car are very similar to painting a real-size vehicle. And just like painting a real car, the process takes time. There is really no shortcut you can take. If there is dust or lint in the paint, you have to wait until the paint is dry before you can sand it out and repaint it. But unlike a full-size car, every tiny imperfection becomes more magnified for these tiny little cars. Not only your skills, but your patience and temperament will be put to the test. painting is only part of the build. You have to use different types of glue for assembly. Some glues work better than others and some don't work in certain situations. Applying glue isn't as easy as you think on these tiny parts, especially on painted areas. One wrong move, it can definitely cause emotional damage. Of course, the more you build, the more experience you will have, but that also means spending more on buying kits, tools, paints, and accessories. And paint, airbrush, thinner, and masking tapes, the cost of those things can add up if it become a financial burden before it becomes your hobby. And what if you don't have all those tools? Or what if you just want to build one car and buying all of those tools and paints won't make sense? You might as well save up and spend that money on a high quality die cast model car. Wait a second, I'm supposed to encourage you to get into the hobby, but it sounds like I'm trying to convince you to stay away from it. Well, that is the nature of this hobby. After all, a car kit isn't like a gunpla kit or a set of Lego. I was a complete noob, but I still managed to build my first Gundam in a few hours. But you can't just open a car kit and snap fit the parts together and then call it done. Or can you? This is a snap kit made by Ayoshima. At a scale of 1 to 30 seconds, it's slightly smaller than the usual 1 24th. These kits are aimed for beginners because you don't need to paint it and the assembly requires no glue. So ideally, this kit should be just like the Gundam kit. For about $20, you can buy this on Amazon or eBay. They cost roughly the same as the high-grade Gunpla kit, but am I gonna experience the same level of happiness as the Gunpla build? There is only a few sprues. Since the scale is smaller, I would expect less part. The chest is one piece of plastic with no extra details. The entire interior is molded in one whole piece. There are no rubber tires. The tires are molded directly onto the wheels. 
but the rims are in separate pieces. Just like the Gundam kit, you are also getting some stickers, which you can use on part where you will usually paint them. The body is what matters the most for a model car. To be honest, I was expecting a properly painted shell, but instead, the shell is just bare plastic, in this case, molded in blue. The body also has some thick mold lines here and there. I had to double check to see if the body was actually painted, but no, it's just bare plastic. Since painting is not required, I started by applying the stickers onto the body according to instruction. If you have a pair of tweezers, it could be helpful for picking the stickers out of the backing paper. For the black trims, you will get a set of stickers to imitate the color of the paint. They don't look particularly realistic, but at least they are easy to work with. These stickers are not my favorite, but one thing I like about this kit is that the lights have a guiding pin in the center, so it makes the installation of the clear lenses a bit easier. Using super glue on this tiny clear part will be a big challenge. Painting window edges in a 124 scale model is always a tiring task. For this model, you will only need to apply the pre made stickers on the window frames. Again, not particularly realistic, but as a beginner, you'll get a general idea of where the black trims should be. their own stickers but I think they look better without the stickers. And does it roll? Yes it does. Looking at this finished kit, I would say it looks more like a toy car than a statically displayed model car. It also feels that way while you are holding it. In fact, a pullback toy car in similar size only cost $5, and it feels heavier, and is even painted. And the doors open. If you are a model car builder, you probably don't care about how it feels in your hand. But if you are a die-cast model car collector and this is your first model car build, you might be disappointed. So try to lower your expectation if you're gonna be building one of this.
but the question is, is this a good starter kit for beginners? In terms of build difficulty, it's definitely for beginners. You can build this kit straight out of the box without painting. The parts snap together pretty easily. You don't get to experience all the steps of building a model car, but that is what these snap kits are aimed for. They are aimed for complete beginners. However, if you are finding this kit to be too basic and simple, and if you are willing to pay a little more for something better, there is another option. Option number 2 still comes from Ayoshima. For about $40, you can get yourself a fully pre-painted kit in 124 scale. Unlike the snap kits, all of the parts have been properly painted. And as you can see, the paint job looks fantastic. Instead of using stickers to imitate the color of the black trims, they have already been painted for you. If you build model cars, you know masking is a very tedious task. You have to be extremely patient and precise. A poor masking job will ruin the final appearance of the car as well as your mood. I know it because I've done it. The chassis has beautifully painted details. You get a lot more individual parts than the snap kit. also get 4 individual rubber tires and walking suspension. Some kits like this GT86, you can even install wheels with crazy negative camber using the supply camber kit. You will also get to learn how to deal with water slide decals. The color separation for these interior trims will take many hours to do, but for this kit, everything has been perfectly painted for you. And to give you a rough idea, I built the same car a while ago and it took me 2 days just to get these interior trims painted properly. And they are not even as clean as the pre-painted ones. Painting window edges is also a major task, and this has been painted for you. The new kits from Ayoshima usually come with these window masking stickers. This can be a huge time saver, but you still have to do the painting yourself. For the older models which do not come with masking templates, the only choice is to make your own templates using masking tapes. It's a very time-consuming process, and because you're doing all the work by hand, it might not be as clean as you would have hoped. Just like building any other model kits, you will need a pair of side cutters to cut off the part. You also want to pay attention when handling this pre-painted kit. You don't want to drop it hard or scratch the nice paint job. This is no snap kit, so glue is required for assembly. Not a big deal if you are planning to get into the hobby. There are plenty of videos on YouTube about modeling glue. I basically use BSI super glue. It has become my go-to glue and I use it almost 99% of the time. One little bottle like this has lasted me many model cars. And if you don't feel like this hobby is for you after trying it out, you can still use the super glue for things around the house. It took me a couple of days to build this kit. Most of the hours were wasted on waiting for the glue to dry, and that's important when using glue on this painted kit. You have already skipped 90% of the work. Think about it. It's like hiring a semi-professional model builder to do the painting for you. All you need is a little patience and some glue. And I think we would agree that this is a much better looking product than a snap kit.
Now back to the question. Is the pre-painted kit a good kit for beginners? I've put together a few of these so I can tell you it's a big yes. Assuming you have no model building experience, you get to learn how to use the side cutters as well as applying glue and decals. You also get a perfectly painted model car at the end, which can be a useful reference for your future build. And most importantly, the process is rather enjoyable to beginners so it makes them want to build another one. I have been a fan of the pre-painted line. If I knew these cars existed before I started, I would definitely try them first. However, when building a kit like this isn't particularly hard, finding one available for sale can be. A quick look on Ayoshima's web store, you will notice that these kits are hardly ever available. Availability has always been an issue with this pre-painted kit. If you are patient enough, you might be able to find one or two on eBay, but beginners will be disappointed when they see the prices of these cars are so much higher than what they were sold for at retail. I'm still not completely sure if I have answered your questions in this video. I guess what I've been trying to say is, if you want to get into the hobby of model car building but you don't want to get any tools and you're not planning to deal with painting, then your options are very limited. I hope after watching this video, you can decide whether or not this hobby is for you. The bottom line is, if you are a car guy and your goal is to build scale replica of cars that you've been wanting to own, then you will find this hobby relaxing fun and satisfying. If you are not a car guy and you're just looking for ways to spend time, getting into the hobby might give you more frustration than relaxation. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and you're welcome to check out my other videos as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.